What if I told you that the watch on the screen right now was not a watch that was $500 or $400 or even $100? What if the detail you're seeing right now is from a watch that was under $40? Bucks. Hey, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. I am trying to bring you the most affordable watches along with some luxury watches, along with some random stuff sprinkled in between. Today, we are looking at a watch that I purchased on Amazon that I think is probably the best bang for buck I've ever done on this channel, ever. 40 bucks, really, for this Cartier alternative? Let's get into it. I don't have many gold watches, so I decided to wet my whistle and dip my toes into the gold watch market. Now, I, of course, didn't buy straight gold because gold is really expensive right now, and so are watches that are made of gold. So, of course, I went with the affordable alternative that most people who are poor or middle class like I am are going to go for. Now, the reason I did this video is because a lot of people like the alternatives of the classic cartoon tanks or other watches like Rolex Submariners, Omega Speedmasters, right? These massive watch brands that dwarf everything else and that includes their price points. Now, a lot of people can't afford a Cartier tank solo, which is kind of what this goes off of. So you get an alternative like this. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and get right into the hands-on portion of this review. Now this is gonna be the best, by far, cheapest watch I've ever reviewed on this channel. I cannot believe once I got into the macro shots of this watch, just how good it was. I know people are gonna complain because IBSO is, you know, kind of like one of those cheap Chinese names, but everything else is just amazing for the price point under 40 bucks on amazon shipped to my house in three days there are some very very big pitfalls to this watch and we'll talk about that well let's just talk about it right now first let's go over some case dimensions some case materials and then we'll talk about why this watch is so great and why well it also fails now, the diameter of this watch is going to be 32 millimeters in a thin size and 36 overall. Now, that's not going to be lug to lug. That's going to be 36 millimeter for the case size. The lug to lug is going to be 43 millimeters. So this watch still sits relatively small like a dress watch should. Now, I love the plating of this rose gold. I think it looks just great. Now, they say this is a stainless steel case. It's really hard to say because at a price point of 40 bucks, is it stainless steel? Is it brass? Is it some sort of tin that's then coated in a, in a gold? But it's done quite nicely. In fact, one of the things I love about the case is how it sits on the wrist because it has this kind of, you know, jutted in sits smaller on the wrist, like it sits lower on the wrist. The actual thickness of this watch is only 7.5 millimeters, but it sits smaller because of the way the case juts inward. It kind of just disappears in this kind of crevice of your wrist between the bone. So it actually sits quite small on the wrist. Now, Really what does this watch justice isn't just the case shape because it does look like a tank, like a Cartier tank, but it's the way the dial layup is. It's like they spent all their time and energy in making sure the dial is almost perfect. Now they didn't have to do a vertical texturing of this dial, but they did. Not only did they do a vertical texturing of the dial, which you can see the lines going from top to bottom, but they also did like a step in the center. And the step is done quite nicely. And you can see there's a chapter ring or a minute ring along the inside of those Roman numeral indices, which are printed. Now IBSO is also printed. And it's quite nice under the macro lens. 
Everything is done very, very well, especially under the macro lens. There's a couple little spots here and there. By the three, there's a tiny little spot. But all that can be forgiven for everything they've done for 40 bucks. I mean, you're getting quite a bit. It doesn't have a ticking second hand. This is a quartz watch, but I don't know what kind of quartz movement is inside. They say a Japanese quartz, so maybe a Seiko, a Miyota. It's really hard to say. On the description in Amazon, it says a Seiko movement, but is it really made by Seiko? Who really knows? And I really don't want to open up the case back. The case back is a snapback, so this does offer 30 meters of water resistance at the most. You know, you can wash your hands with it, maybe some light rain, that's about it. Don't jump into a pool with this watch at all. Crown is non-screw down, and you just pull it out once, and it goes into the time function, and you can change the time. The hands are done quite nicely. Again, under the macro lens, everything looks great. Really love the sword hands on this watch. Very simple, very elegant, very nicely done. Love the Roman numerals. Again, that's indicative of that Cartier tank. And I love the way the gold is done on this case. I actually spent a lot of time looking over this case. This is just a sticker on the crown. And I couldn't find anything that was imperfect about the case. Sometimes you'll see there'll be some maybe bubbling on cheaper things. But overall, this is actually done nearly perfectly. The only thing that kind of shows through would be maybe oils from my skin, from touching the watch, um, and that's it. And where this watch really fails is on the strap. Now, this strap is 26 millimeters thick, so it's going to be hard to find a strap this thick that's a dress watch, but you could find one for an original Cartier tank. Um, but this might as well be made out of cardboard. In fact, it feels like it's made out of cardboard, and that makes sense because it says genuine leather. Genuine leather really doesn't mean leather. It means anything but leather pressed together with glue and pressure. That's really the only downside about this watch is going to be the strap, but you're spending 40 bucks on a watch that you could toss on your wrist and wear with a suit and it would look great, right? You could replace the leather strap. If you want, spend 30 bucks on a decent leather strap, and now you have a watch that uh, looks and feels like a far more expensive watch. Buckle and Tang uh, match the watch. This is a full stainless steel for sure, Buckle and Tang, but again, the strap is not to be desired. It has a weird pattern on it overall, the watch looks great. Let's go ahead and toss it on the wrist so you know what I'm talking about. One of the things I do like about this strap is it's already nearly preformed for my wrist, and that's because of the small box it came in, and it was wrapped around a single pillow here, and it already has a great wrist shape, and you can see it right here. I mean, it does fit very nicely you can see that it's smaller on my seven and a quarter inch wrist let's try a different type of um view so you can get a better idea i'll have to be honest i was quite amazed just how good the dial was i said it over and over in the video but just the vertical lines there's only a couple spots when it comes to quality control on the dial where they could have done a little bit better but can you blame them for 40 bucks that you don't find everything i mean even some rolexes and i will do a video on the pitfalls of rolex and some of the quality control issues they've had on their gmts just completely missing things like the painted gmt hand and it just looks like garbage anyway if you have a twelve thousand dollar watch that has q you see issues then a $40 watch you can kind of forgive at least in my eyes you can I think this is a great alternative the strap again is crap it's almost like cardboard I'd be afraid to break it if I bent it the wrong way but that can be replaced if you like the watch overall replace the strap right? I can't put a chase strap on this because chase strap is my watch strap company because 26 millimeters is just too much but 
there's a lot of Cartier solo straps that are just the same size that are alternatives and you don't have to pay the Cartier price. You can get an aftermarket strap that'll fit a Cartier that will fit this as well. And uh, you have a great watch, I think. What do you guys think about this video? I really love these alternatives, especially the affordable alternatives. I love giving to you guys because I am not a rich person by any means. In fact, this polo I had to buy at a high-end outlet store the last time I went to Las Vegas because it's just too expensive and I just can't afford to go into the actual stores to get today's polo, right? No, is it really worth going to spend $120 to buy a cotton polo that the, the collar is going to start fraying up and it's going to look like garbage just because it says lacrosse or has a gator on the front? No, not really. So I am an affordable person. I love bringing you guys affordable stuff. So stay tuned. I have a lot, a lot scheduled for the channel. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. Like I said, all things random, mostly watch reviews, some random stuff sprinkled in between. I got a 15,000 subscriber giveaway. You have to participate in the videos to be uh, placed in that subscriber giveaway. That is going to be a Swiss Tissot PRX Powermatic 80, the automatic PRX. Uh, that is coming in in about a month. I will do a review in about two months. I have other watches coming in, a Vario watch that I am very, very excited about. Also, other things on the desk here, and my flamethrower is in the mail. It'll be here this week. I'm super excited to do that. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.